Hello, welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Berlin, and today we are continuing uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, if you like JRPGs, MMORPGs, uh, RPGs, cozy games, or just, I don't know, random cute things, art or music, you should consider subscribing. Because there's a little bit of all of that here. Also, if you like this video, it really helps. The algorithm is a wicked mistress, and uh, we're still working on figuring it out. It's hard to please her sometimes. So yeah, all that being said, we just defeated Ifrit. They we're trying to summon him to sacrifice us to the Amalja, the lizards. And uh, now, last video, we listened to Gridania's leader's message. So we're going to continue listening to the speeches of these cities, and I guess consider joining one of them. <laughs> I'm sorry for my nose. It's not in its best form today, but you're probably used to that by now. <laughs> it's just a little awkward. I'm just gonna... Going all the way over here, I believe. Don't quote me on it, though. <laughs> I'm hoping. Hey, Lee. Oh, thank you. Shoot. Then, uh, where are we supposed to go? Oh, is there a lift? Is that... No. Hold up. Probably I'll try this one. Try this one. And we wanna go we wanna go. So somewhere in here. There's a lot of quests in this building. Oh. I can't even see myself on this map, so I don't know if I'm... Uh, what's that? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I'm not very good at science. We're supposed to have speeches to listen to today, if I can find them.
Oh yeah, I know the song. I just didn't know uh, if I had said something about science. <laughs> Where the heck is this place? I don't know, maybe it is where that exclamation point is. Scholars walk. Oh, no, uh, the quest what I'm doing is the one in the left corner. It's a hero in the making. In the name of science, is just one of them. Oh, here it is. Okay. That's just a random quest that we are not doing at the moment. So cute! <laughs> Hark you souls of flame, drawn to the bosom of the desert, where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore! Hurrah! Rauban! Where since antiquity, under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul dynasty, we have wrought sand into gold! Whereby the grace and glory of Naldthar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar! There, at the Flame General's back, flies the Grand Company's standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. What are these guys doing here, too? Did they say they'd follow me? I can't remember. Interesting. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, none spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters, that they might know happiness in the great beyond, as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this Seventh Umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? You who call this living, dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. We stand on a precipice, yet we do not act. Your little dress is interesting. <laughs> it's kind of like a bell shape. Whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist, all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. The Sultana, I beseech you! Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Uldar, 
but to restore her to prosperity. As the realm prospers, so shall Uldar. As Uldar prospers, so shall her people. Ya ja, for Uldar! Together we are one. Your grace. Raubon? People of Ulta, I, Nanimo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. That's adorable. They're so cute. You can't take them serious. I can't take them seriously. They're too cute. Much has been made of the wealth of Ulta. <laughs> Yet those who measured that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Ulda lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. Beloved subjects, I bid you raise aloft the torch of Ulda, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all Eorzea to see. Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! For victory and fortune, stride fearless into the inferno, for we are by fire reborn! Forsooth! The time is now! I believe! I believe! I believe. You again. What? It's like the name, uh, Realm Reborn. Uh -huh. I love when you can find it. <laughs> they say it somewhere. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, what are these guys doing here? They're just going around listening to all of the speeches, I guess? Or they're stalking me. The Uldans have a long history of conflict with the Amaja, the beast tribe that worships the primal Ifrit. Judging by your look of detaste, distaste, I take it you have encountered them. The Uldans do not shy from confrontation. If aught threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. So have they dealt with Ifrit thus far, smothering his flames each time he is stoked to life. Yet he is but one of several problems. Though they have been quiet these past five years, the Garleans have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and Ulda has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even the Sultanate's, Sultanate's coffers are bottomless, and even assuming they had the coin, resources will ever be infinite, finite. Which brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. It has been observed that the Almajas are summoning him with ever-increasing frequency. Every time they do so, the Uldan send their forces to smite the primal, and though they invariably succeed, each victory is brought with blood. It is a war of attrition, which they cannot well sustain. Alrighty. Is it lagging? Ugh, what a bummer. We have to see how it goes. Hopefully it'll... Uh... Fortunately, we have to go into Lamidsa, which is going to make it probably lag even worse. So let's see how it, how it fares. Galleons are another matter altogether. So much for our alliance. It's sunk beyond the seabed. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty Crimson Standard, 
and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. These people are following me. <laughs> the Crimson Field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the Black Longship represents a pirate vessel. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. She reminds me of the, uh, cat captain from the Disney Treasure Planet. <laughs> like, that's all I can think of when I see her. <laughs> she was a captain of an airship as well. All answered the call. From the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilfir's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. It has been five long years since the Calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the Calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fish buck the bastards. Have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Galian Empire. Even now the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded, yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us. One bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both and see this ship safe to port. We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom, and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, Gather beneath the undying Crimson Standard, and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. 
And with the guidance of the Navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Long live the Admiral! Admiral Melvin! Gather the lads! Oh, where's me Cutlass? I'll follow ye to the Seven Hells, Admiral! <laughs> I where's me Cutlass? <laughs> Good old pirate. Fancy meeting you again. I'd say it's quite a coincidence. <laughs> As the Admiral mentioned in her address, Limsa Lomincia is plagued by two beast tribes. The first are the fish-like Sahagin, worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The second are the Kobolds, who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal Titan for their god. As if the beast tribe's presence weren't troublesome enough, the Garleans have also chosen to erect a fortress right in the Lewinson's backyard. But that is to say, not of internal strife. As a nation of pirates, there is no end to the blood feuds between the various factions. And while they fight amongst themselves, the Garleans wet their blades and watch. If the Lomincids are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside and the primal threat dealt with once and for all. To this end, I expect that they will soon take decisive action against the Beast Tribes. Mark my words, the Maelstrom Standard shall be drenched, a deeper shade of crimson ere long. That a capable adventurer like you would be a valuable addition to their crew is beyond question. But will you sail with the Admiral? Device. <laughs> Burr, this is Midphelia. You are well, I hope. But I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance service has now concluded. A moment ago, you say? What a coincidence. Jesting aside, I trust you remember our guests from the ground companies? Well, delighted though we are to have them here at the Waking Sands, it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. Jeez, I don't know who to pick. Oh. We are on our way. Ah, teleportation. It's definitely the best way to travel. I wish I could teleport. I don't know, who should we choose? I don't know which, uh side to join. <laughs> Either all together, I guess, but... <laughs> Welcome back, Burr. Were the Grand Company leaders' words as illuminating as you had hoped? No? I, each nation is beset with problems. I trust you see now why your services are in such demand. Would that there were more of you, Burr. But you must be tired from your journey. Why don't you rest a while and take a moment to reflect on your decision? Once your mind is made up, pray give the Grand Company officers your answer. Wait, she said don't make them wait any longer. Oh yeah, no, I figured, Chun. The 
gods only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. The wheels of change are in motion regardless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Bad. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies. As though the calamity and seventh umbral era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. I got that too. I was like, wait a second, we're not really remembering much. <laughs> we're just talking about how much we have to fight everybody else. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact. But the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the beast tribes and their primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Father would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I need to find it. She didn't like that. <laughs> you are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ. But our destination is the same. In time, I dare say, we will see eye to eye. I should hope so. M -m my lady! We are to escort you! Hope does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister, and will prevail together or not at all. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds, but prevent old ones from opening anew. Ah, oh, now to make this decision. I'm so bad at making decisions. Seriously. Uh, so this is Gridania. Go yellow, blue, or red. Kind of leading either red or yellow. So I like the blue coat the best. But it's Gridania, Limsa, and oh, I think I might go with Gridania. Go with the snakes. Yeah. Because I like that city the best. <laughs> Ah, I take it the Elder Seedseer's words have touched your heart. Have you resolved to entwine your destiny with that of the Twin Adder? <laughs> Red were dead, blue were through, yellow were mellow. What is that from? <laughs> or did you just make that up? <laughs> That's so funny. You have chosen wisely, my friend. The Elder Seedseer will be overjoyed. <laughs> 
Without further ado, let us seek, speak of practical matters. In order to complete the enrollment procedure, you must report to our headquarters in Gridania, the Adder's Nest. The building you seek stands in the southern part of the city, now called New Gridania. Give your name to the personnel officer there and he will guide you through the formalities. Oh! <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. I have a couple quotes like that in my head. I have no doubt but that your deeds will bring great honor to your, our order. When next we meet in Gridania, I shall be proud to call you sister. Well, we're going to be super mellow today. Hooray! Just teleport from here. A lot of stuff going on on this map here. <laughs> hey, Gemini! It's <laughs> a lot of teleporting. <laughs> Happy Friday! You are come to the Adder's Nest, headquarters of the Order of the Twin Adder. Ever do we welcome they who would toil in the Elemental's name for the good of our forest station. How will you respond? My name is Berlin. I believe you are expecting me. I am here to enlist if you will have me. <laughs> I'll go with the first one. <laughs> Does it make much difference? Ah, the great adventurer herself. Yes, our recruitment officers have word that you were on your way. It is a pleasure and an honor both to welcome you to our ranks, friend. Now, let me gather together the relevant documentation. Sir! What is it? Report. An urgent message from Amara South Spire, sir. A high wind skyways airship has taken fire from Imperial forces in the skies over the East Shroud. The vessel's engines were crippled, sir, and it was forced to make an emergency landing southeast of Nine... Nine Ivies? Nine Ivies? Gods, this could not have come at a worse time. All but a handful of our forces are presently afield dealing with the Ixal. Sir, I know full well you have yet to be formally inducted into our ranks, but we have urgent need of your aid. In all likelihood, the airship was burying civilians, and if the reports are accurate, it will have come down dangerously close to the Garlean occupied territory. Please make all haste to the area southeast of Night Ivies, locate the airship, and ascertain the status of the passengers. Oh boy. Eh, there's always something, eh? How far down south is this? Wow, let me get that. Oh, 
looks like write it. <laughs> Is that right? It? This is always the worst part. Not quite sure what I get there. Guess it looks like Brooklyn, like Brooklyn Hound. <laughs> Take a, a boat? Is that what that is? Go up and down. Somebody uh, offered me a greeting, I think. Sorry. <laughs> Following my man. Sorry. Yeah, we gotta go towards the lavender bed, so go that way. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like, should we or shouldn't we? <laughs> Just a lovely little sprout here. On a free trial. It's a, such a, a shame. <laughs> really? That's so funny. I have gotten invited verbally to at least one. Okay, so this is a lavender bed, and what's this? Uh, the Hawthorne Hut. What are my options? Oh, Sweet Bloom Pier? Where is that? That, maybe that's where we have to go. Probably. Oh, are they? Instead of the randos? <laughs> I think that's, I think this is the right one. Uh-oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh no, I went the right way. Ha ha! The honey yard. Oh, there are those creatures. The tree! 
Oh, Hoglet. That's cute. <laughs> East Stroudsburg. Yes. Haven't been there in a minute. you get more bonuses like depending on the amount of people you get like in a guild or, or your companies or whatever or do they just like to have new beats come to them <laughs> Ah, okay, that makes sense. Gotta get my regular stuff in order. <laughs> She's a little bomb. Whoa. Whoops, eyeballs. What? It's got a million mouths. Interesting. Ah! The notifications stink on YouTube. One thing that is definitely a pain. It's very fickle. It's like sometimes we'll notify people, sometimes not. And I don't know why. Very funguar. It's like a cactar, but fungi. Oh, that's so neat. They shift. That's so funny. Wolf poacher. It always scares me when that starts. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? But I like the fate music. Ah, oh, the ship. Oh boy, some kind of battle. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Adventurer, what are you doing out here? No, wait, let's find some cover first. Huh, out of breath. 
The Adder's Nest sent you. How do I know you're not an Imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. Shift my head quietly. You gotta trust me. It's Robin Hood. <laughs> gotta love video games. Peace, friend. We mean you no harm. You are an engineer of Garland Ironworks, are you not? We were alerted to your plight. That have come to rescue you. And you are Berlin, I presume. I was told to expect an honorary serpent. My thanks for your aid, friend. <laughs> I've never seen a craft of this design. It must be Garland's work. Is there no end to this man's treachery? The secrets of Magitech belong in Imperial hands. They are not to be squandered on Eorzean savages. <laughs> uh -huh. We are taking this crap back to the fortress. Dismantle it if you must, and bring the engineer. Someone must pay for Garlon's crimes. Oh, just a little guy. Imperial scouts from Castro Orients. They mean to requisition the ship. Wedge! Wedge? I know him. You have to help him. That fool of a lawful was hiding inside the tiny Bronco. Hey! Some Final Fantasy VII references up in here. The tiny Bronco? But isn't that the Ironworks' latest creation? <laughs> yeah! You didn't know? <laughs> I guess you must be a, a falafel. <laughs> oh. It's the first airship we've built since the Calamity. The first since Master Garland. Well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first flight test. Her test flight. And she was soaring. She really was. Till those bastards blasted her out of the sky. It said to me all. The ironworks' latest creation must now fall into Garlean hands. We shall strike them, swift and sure, and rescue Engineer Wedge. <laughs> Engineer Wedge. Burr, I trust we can rely on your support. We got this. May the matron watch over us. With me. Oh, man. An ambush! Two arms! I'm scared. Is everybody you look at me? Back. 
doesn't make me run, I'm not very fast. Him right in the butt. Ha! <laughs> With my long legs. He said, Oh, there's a big wedge. That's so funny. I love when they do that. You should have stayed in the ship. That was a close one. Too damn close. So, how's she look anyway? The auxiliary propeller is a dead loss, but I think we can re enough thrust from the main propeller to get us airborne. <laughs> Wedge is looking a little short. A few minor modifications and we should be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. While you do your work, we shall keep watch over the perimeter. perimeter. The, enemy, bleh, the enemy may yet be lurking nearby. As for you, Burr, you have more than done your part today. I bid you to return to the Adder's Nest and complete your enlistment. I pray there will be no further interruptions. When next we meet, let it be as fellow serpents of the Order. <laughs> oh, you did this quest. <laughs> Go figure. You just, well, you like to just uh, skip all the cutscenes, so. That's so funny. They look a little different, though, for sure, that I remembered last. I, uh,. Just wanted to say sorry, you know, for calling you an Imperial spy and all that. Got that one wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Seriously, though, if it hadn't been for you and the Twin Adder lads there, we'd be chained up in a dungeon by now. I'm in your debt, friend. We both are. Wedge. Thank you. We're very grateful. <laughs> Oh, oops. Nice. So I guess we all uh, get teleported back then. It's all fun and games until somebody runs out of gill. And you gotta hook it. <laughs> Poor old. Rago. Ah, he's so cute. <laughs> Just chill. Alrighty. I am here to be suited up somewhere. I'm hiding in this man, I guess. Burr, does my spirit well to see your return. Word arrived but moments ago from the team at Night Ivy's. Lest you worry, the two engineers are safely on their way. The lieutenant informs me that you were instrumental in the mission's success. Had you not found Engineer Biggs when you did and helped us to route, route the Garleans, things might have been very different. And all this before you were even inducted into the Order. You are well on your way to carving out a fine career for yourself beneath the Twin Adder standard. But without further ado, let us see to your induction. Twelve willing, there won't be any further interruptions. That's a yellow paint. Protocol requires that I appraise you of who we are and what we do, after which I will invite you to swear an oath of your own free will. <laughs> the Order of the Twin Adder is the Grand Company of Gridania. It brings together the martial, economic, and technological resources of our nation, that we might stand strong in times of direct Direst, direst, direst adversity when our very survival hangs in the balance. I thought about joining the 
Oh no, I thought about maybe joining Libsa because they're pirates. But then, I like Gridania the best. So. Our order was formed in the days before the Calamity, in readiness to fight the Garlean Empire and to combat the beast tribes of their primals. Needless to say, our struggle continues to this day. Elder Seed Seer Khan E. Sena is the supreme commander of our forces. Under her wise leadership, we protect the people of Gridania and the sanctity of the Twelves Wood. As the enjoined spirit sec serpents that grace our standard, let forest born strive as one with friends from afar to ensure that peace shall ever reign in Gridania. In so doing, we honor the will of the elementals, and theirs is the will of the wood. Now then, Berlin, I ask that you give us unto us your oath of allegiance, in whatever fashion you see fit. <laughs> Woods will be done, I shall strike down our enemies and drink of their blood. My life for the elders held Caesar. Dot dot dot. Uh, let's be let's be brutal. <laughs> she says it with a smile. Uh, quite. Your fervor is duly noted. May it lend your strength as you strive to preserve all that is good in this great nation. By the power vested in me, I assign you the rank of serpent, private third class. You are now a woman of the Order of the Twin Adder. Go forth, Private Lynn, and do that which brings peace to the Twelveswood and honor to our name. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Can you hear me, Burr? This is Midphilia. An officer of the Order of the Twin Adder contacted me with news of your enlistment. My c congratulations, Private Lynn. <laughs> Yay, you slither in. <laughs> I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to your old ones first. Remember, though you are now a serpent of Britannia, you are no less a scion. Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. There are some friends here who I would very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. The distant call of a friend in need, perhaps. As you are needed elsewhere, I shall not keep you any longer. I would, however, suggest speaking with High Serpent Commander Vorsai Helui before you depart. He may provide you with assistance on the journey ahead. Okay. Do, 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 do. Of course they won't just give me a chocobo. I have to go do things for them. So rude. Welcome back, Burr. Lady Mincilia awaits you within. Aha, but I get a seal from doing this, so okay. <laughs> Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know? Why, the recruitment officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroics. The pride in his voice was palpable. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We Scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Burr. Now, when last we spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met. Tataru, please show them in. This way, sirs. Oh. <laughs> Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. Uh, and I am, I am... God, it's a man. Spit it out, will you? Wedge! At your service. I am pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Oh, we get to name our chocobos. Ooh. Okay. 
I'm open to any and all suggestions. <laughs> Magic tech driven contraptions such as airships grow ever more vital to the city states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we scions should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. <laughs> So funny. What a pair. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea. And I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Level up, yo. Just grab this, eh? Need you to investigate the sylphs. Now, having set aside the formalities, we have a favor to ask of you. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived, but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure yet. We'll, uh, we'll see what's going on when I get to that, that bridge. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. What is this voice? It's so goofy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones, that worship the primal Ramu. Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor. Conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. It's so funny. <laughs> Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. We fought Ifrit yesterday. Did you see that, folks? He looks cool. Looks very lizardy. It's interesting. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. Rabu. In short. It is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. <laughs> or maybe they were like... We want you to sound like an old wizard. Because <laughs> that's what he reminds me of, like Merlin. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida, us. Just 
so funny. <laughs> Self management. <laughs> Kick him. <laughs> Little potato. <laughs> They're so cute, I can't. Whoa! <laughs> There's a mage on a chocobo, I think. <laughs> or a chocobo on a mage's hat, I couldn't tell. <laughs> the flying chocobo! Wow! It's like Hagrid! Flying motorcycle! The heck? So cool. Okay, so... Video... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? They're flying on the moon! There's so many interesting mounts. What the heck? Oh, I have to reset my... My heart. Either hearts stone thing. I've seen people sweeping. But if there's not, there should be. We know far too little of the sylphs to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the science once more if we are to. Ah, big pardons. Tis a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to the adder's nest? Well, I think I'm going to actually end this here for today. Uh, but tomorrow we will get started. We'll get the chocobo and we'll figure out what's going on with these sylphs. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video. Also, subscribe if you are new here. And keep an eye out on the community tab because that is where I post what time I'll be coming online and uh, there's a discord link that I will share underneath this video for anyone who is interested in hanging out with us off stream. Alright, thank you guys so much. I will see you